Hello everyone, this is a video review on my brand new uh, personal size Metropole in Kingfisher Blue. Um, I'm not going to go over the setup of this today. I'm still tinkering around with it, but I will make a separate video once I'm done with that. Um, I just wanted to make a video because I, I feel that the Metropole is like an unsung hero in the Filofax world. Um, it seems to be overlooked for the prizier um, leather binders, but um, I've been eyeing this color ever since it came out, and obviously I'd seen, I, I read the, the Gala Darling blog post on her raspberry one, um, and then um, there was that video on the orange Metropole, I think, uh, Lola is her name. I'm sorry if I got that wrong. Um, she made her video, and basically I was like, hmm, okay, maybe I should consider this. And then people, some people posted pictures of of the Metropoles they had. I think uh, Chris G from Twitter, she had a picture with um, Franklin Covey inserts in it. And um, I don't know, I started looking more into it. But I, I like the leather on my Red Compact Chameleon so much that I, I thought I could, I wouldn't like something that was non-leather. But then Lori uh, posted that uh, Quagmire planner post, which was genius. And I just decided that, hey, you know what, I like the color, it looks beautiful. Let's put the leather snobbishness aside and order the damn thing and we'll see how it goes. So I finally ordered it. I did get it from Pens and Leather, so I saved a couple bucks there. Um, and uh, the color that you're seeing on screen looks boring. I know. But in true life, this is a turquoise blue in my eyes. I even asked my husband and he didn't really care too much about file faxes and stuff. But he said, yeah, that, that definitely looks more turquoise than it does blue. So I'm sorry, I tried to get the best light I could to film this, but um, unfortunately it, it just looks blue, but it's turquoise. So if you go to Pens and Leather and you pull up the, the product page for this binder, the first picture that they have up that looks turquoisey and, and kind of greenish blue type thing, that's very close to the real color of this. So it's very beautiful and um, if you collect binders and you like nice pretty colors, this I think should be part of your collection. Even if, if you're going to use it or not, it's a very beautiful color. Now, I know the Metropole is um, not a popular binder because it's not leather, but I'm here to tell you that it doesn't feel cheap. It had a bit of a um, plasticky smell, very, very slight um, when I first opened the package. Um, I didn't smell it this morning, but it's not something that's terrible. Um, I'm sure it will fade away with time. Um, it doesn't feel cheap. Uh, it's very smooth, so um, I mean, people who have like um, Holborns, who've, who've commented on the fact that the leather on that is very smooth, I'm thinking it probably feels the same. You know, it's not leather, but it, it doesn't feel cheap. The stitching on it is very nice. Um, it's a very streamlined, clean design, which I really like. Now, um, I thought about getting a domino because I just really wanted bigger rings and color. But the truth is, I like having a clasp. I think it adds to the binder itself. It, it makes it a little nicer. Plus, I like the sound of that popping sound. I love that sound. Now, um, this binder has two pen loops. Front pen loop is wider, so it's going to fit um, a wider pen. Duh. Um, you all know this pen. This is the big fashion for color pen. The back pen loop is much slimmer. So I have a Le Pen pen in here, which are very narrow. So something very narrow is going to fit in here. Now, 
the cards on the front. These two front pockets are very sturdy. They are the same material as the front cover of the of the binder. The ones on the back, it's a very thin material here, which I'm worried that with time it, it might tear, but I'm sorry, I do have things in here that I don't really use all the time that don't need to be pulled out um, all the time, so um, I'm hoping that that will help with um, the longevity of that material. This back pocket back here is very stiff. Um, it's not gusseted, and if you, you don't want to keep things in there that you need to get to easily. So, on the other side, if you want to keep bills in there, they're going to stay in there. They're not going to move. Now, my rings, I had no problem with them. They are nice and aligned, so I'm very happy about that. This part here is uh, cloth. It says Filofax on it. And in the back, um, the mesh pocket had a notepad in there. Um, I took that out. I don't see a use for it. Um, but it will fit a moleskin pocket size here, whatever those are called. This is, you know, the, the kind that has the cardboard. This will fit nice and tight in there. Okay? So, you know, if, if you wanted to carry one of these around or something, you could fit it in there nicely. I tried putting vouchers or coupons or things in there, but the truth is, it's hard to get in there if you have stuff like at the bottom. So, I just took this out for, you know, uh, visual purposes because it's hard to, it, it fits really tight in there. The other nice thing about the mesh pocket is that you can hook a pen there. So, I'm carrying three pens around in my Filofax. I mean, that's, that's pretty awesome. Because <laughs> you know we all need, if there's one thing Filofax users need is pens and, stick, and sticky notes. So, um, the more pens, the merrier. So, I have, you know, three pens and they fit quite nicely. Now, um, like I said, I'll do another video with my setup, but... As you can see in here, I have plenty of stuff in there. Everything's fitting quite nicely. I have my three pens fitting quite nicely in there as well. Um, and it's not heavy. Like, it, it doesn't feel heavier than my chameleon did. Now, I don't know if it's uh, because of the material itself, that it's lighter. But, um... I mean, it, it's a gorgeous binder. I, I, I'm I really happy with it. And um, I, I think if you're on the, on the fence about getting one, um, you should. Even if it's just for the color. Because, I mean, just looking at this thing, I, you know, I set it out on my desk at work um, just to look at it sometimes. Because the color just, like, brightens my day. And I know that sounds a little stupid, but... Um, it does. So, um, I'm excited because um, from uh, Chris G's picture on Twitter and Sandra uh, mentioning that Franklin Covey inserts fit really nicely in this, um, I might decide to give that a try for 2013. Um, we'll see about that. But, um, it's a nice binder, guys. It's it's not leather. It doesn't have that luscious smell, but for the price and the design, I think it's totally worth it. And um, check it out. And uh, thanks for watching. You all have a great weekend. Bye.